The month of Ramadan is the month where everyone wants to do good and everyone wants to have some change and everyone wants to do great things. But what tends to happen is that when the month enters, you're so overwhelmed. And let's be real, for most of us, myself included, you don't have a program, you don't have a schedule, you're not specific about what you want to do. You find yourself, you go to the masjid for the first three, four days, and then, and then what usually happens is we end up collapsing. So my brothers and sisters, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, we've been far from Allah all year round. Of course, we want to make the most of this month, but we want to be smart. So be specific, right? Put together a list of things that are achievable. I can do this. It's not going to burden me, right? Don't, don't sit down and put together, you know, I'm going to read one juz of Quran a day. If you can and you're capable of this, well, then that's great. But if you're someone who struggles to read half a page, Right, they're putting down a goal as a juz. It's not going to happen. No one, you know, no one's going to. So be specific. Put yourself together a specific program. You know, look, I'm going to pray my Isha in the masjid. I'm going to read X amount of Quran. I'm going to give X amount of charity. Slow and steady. I would rather you do this much, but you're consistent throughout the whole month of Ramadan than doing that much for the first five days and then you collapse after a week. The Prophet of Allah, he says, and I will end with this. This is advice for life, not just for the month of Ramadan. Allah Azza wa Jal loves the action that is small and consistent more than the action that is large but a one-off. So be smart. Don't worry. Give yourself a solid program that you will not do less than this. This is my minimum throughout. And then whatever you do on top of that or extras to that, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept. And uh, inshallah ta'ala, I hope that uh, we can take this advice and bring it on board. Jazakallahu khairan.